Welcome to a first look at Microsoft Excel. Uh, what I'm going to do for this introductory session is just to show you a few of the things that you can do and then later on we'll get into exploring all the different options and possibilities um, that the program offers. But let's just very quickly, we'll, we'll do a spreadsheet, something that um, I presume everyone's wanting to do. And uh, We'll do something very simple. Let's imagine you've got a small business and you just want to record a few sales figures for the first three months of the year and then uh, create a small chart. Something very simple to maybe show the bank manager. So we'll start off by putting the title of the business in and we'll call the business something very simple like XYZ Limited and we might want to put uh, what the spreadsheet is about and it's recording sales of things. So there we are. That's what I'm going to put. So I've tapped it in, press the enter key, and we move down to the next row. What I'm going to do now is put some information in about what's actually on the spreadsheet. Um, we'll put the labels in first. So I know I'm going to record the first three months of the year. So if I type in there January, now I'm not going to press enter just yet. I'll show you something clever that Excel can do for me. I want to put in a February and March in the next two cells. All I need to do is just put the mouse pointer at the bottom right of the cell there and just drag across and you'll see it automatically puts February and March in there for me which is very kind of it. It does all sorts of things like that. Um, months and other dates are very good for automatically filling in and it'll fill in series of numbers and, and lots of other options but we'll look at those later on. So I'll put in some details about what we're actually going to sell down here and uh, we're selling some very simple things. Sweets, crisps, and pop. There we are. Sort of thing you might want to sell in the, in a news agent. And uh, I'll put some sales figures in for these items. Um, let's say we sold £100 worth of sweets in January, £150 worth in February, and £300 worth in March. Come down to crisps, let's say £75 worth of crisps in, Fe in January, February 125 and maybe £215 worth in March. And finally pop, uh, 125 for January, whoops, old typo, 195 in February and 350 in March. There we go. So those are the figures, let's say, for our little business. Next thing we need to do is work out the totals. So I'm going to add a new row here called totals. Let's type that in. Move across to the next cell. And to do the total here, we can do it very quickly. What I'm going to do is select all three cells there and press this little magic button up here called Auto Sum. And have a look what happens when I press that button. There we go. The totals pop in automatically for all three columns. I also want to work out the totals for each of the four rows there, sweets, crisps, pop, and the grand total, so add up the totals column. So I'm going to put another label in, it's called totals, at the end of that row of months in column E. And again, I'm going to select one, two, three, four cells, click my auto sum button, and voila, the totals go in automatically. Um, obviously, what will this 1635 figure? Um, is equal to that and is also equal to that so they should match. You can actually test this so you might notice down here at the bottom of the screen as I select the numbers it automatically tells me what those are added up so you can actually verify that Excel is calculating correctly which I can promise you it does do. Um, well that's our table of numbers looks very interesting but it looks a bit plain um, so I'm going to jazz it up a little bit make it look interesting First thing I'm going to do with our title is to make the title go across the whole table of numbers. And so I need to select all the cells that the title goes across, including right up to the end of the table. A little button here called Merge and Center. Click on that. What that does, it merges all those cells together, centers the actual text in the middle. We might make that bold. Uh, we might possibly underline it. There's some border options here, so underline it there. And give it a, a snazzy yellow background. There we go. I'm going to make the labels all bold. That's January, February, March, and totals, and sweets, crisps, pop, and totals. Make those all bold. Uh, I'm also going to actually separate 
the table of information from the title. So I'll insert a row here. Just insert that. Now at the moment that's gone all yellow. I don't really want that. And what I can do here is select the whole row, go to the edit menu, come down to where it says clear, and choose the all option. And that clears all the formatting out of that row. So it's now nice and plain now. Um, I might also want to make the totals all bold here, just to highlight those for anybody looking at it. So we select all those, bold. And I might even want to put a grid on the whole sheet. Now there is a grid there already, but when you print it, the grid won't show up. So to put a printing grid on, you need to click on the borders option, click on the grid button, and there we are, there's a grid. Um, and maybe highlight these totals. I'm going to highlight all the ones apart from the grand total and just put a little green background on there and then I'm going to highlight the grand total and put a sort of a an orangey background on as well. Okay, that's the numbers. A um, bit more formatting perhaps. Let's just make it look tidy. Because we haven't got a decimal place on there, I'm going to center all those numbers so they all look nice and neat. Um, you wouldn't perhaps normally do that with counting numbers, but uh, just for this example I'm going to do that. The last thing I want to do is create a chart just to illustrate how the different products compare month by month. To do that, all I need to do is select the three months and the three ranges of products, not the totals because that will distort the chart, so I leave the totals out. And then I go to my chart button here, click on that. The chart I want is already highlighted, and then all I need to do is click finish. There's my chart, just move it across so it's nice and tidily underneath. And so there's my spreadsheet with the chart. Now, because I'm going to go and see the bank manager, I want to show him that I'm talking about money rather than just uh, perhaps units of things. So I'm going to highlight all the numbers and turn that into currency. Now, what I want you to do is keep an eye on the, this chart here. At the moment, it's just got plain numbers. And I'm going to go to the Format menu, click Cells, select Currency. There's the sample. That's fine, but I don't want any decimal places. So we're going to change that to zero click OK. So now my table's updated with pound signs, but also the chart is automatically updated as well, which is quite clever, isn't it? And there we are. That's a nice spreadsheet, which I can take to the bank manager, and he will no doubt give me a loan of, um, well, who knows how much, or throw me out, one of those possibilities. So that's the first look at Excel. It shows you how quickly we can put some information together. Um, and just finally, just to show you the whole point of using a spreadsheet rather than a scrap of paper and a calculator. If, let's say, I'd made a mistake on any one of those figures, normally I would have to go and recalculate everything. But here, let's say somebody comes along and says, well, you've made a mistake there. January should be £95 for sweets. If I type in 95 watch all the numbers change. Okay. You probably didn't see that, so it happened so quickly. I'll undo it. What will change is the total here, the total here, and the grand total. So I'll do that one more time, keep an eye on the three cells. There we go. And you probably also didn't quite notice, but the chart will also have changed as well. I can show you that by making an extreme example. If I put zero into sweets, now you can see that sweets is the blue bar. By taking £95 off that, we'll see the blue bar drop down quite dramatically on that chart on January. And there it goes. In fact, it disappears. So it shows you the chart automatically updates as you update the numbers. We'll put those back in. There we go. And that's the reason you use Excel. It just saves you so much time. It automates so many of the things that you would do manually and take hours. It can do in seconds. So now that you know that it's a good thing to do, let's go on and learn all about it and turn you into an Excel expert in the next session. Thank you very much.